again, Sue Salamone here from the Clark Pleasant Branch Library in New Whiteland. We're going to have a summertime treat. We're going to make walking tacos or walk around tacos. And I'm going to, the book right here, we have a whole book with the, that picture right on the front. Walk around tacos and other likable lunches. So easy stuff that you can make while you're at home. And we're going to try to make that. Let's go ahead and look at the page. Page of walk around tacos. So I'll explain the ingredients here in a few minutes, and we're going to make that to enjoy. Let's read a book first called Dragons Love Tacos. If you were able to come this summer, you got to see Taco Dragon at our branches, and he made a big hit. He or she made a big hit when uh, they came, and I hope you had a chance to, to see Taco Dragon. And here's a big poster here. Taco Dragon is reading Good Night Taco and The Very Hungry Taco, and I'm reading some of the titles here. The Stinky Taco Man, Fairly Taco Related Tales, and the BFT. So these are some fun stories that a dragon who likes tacos might like. And he's written a second book, Dragons Love Tacos, number two, the sequel. So you can check out this book at the library. Come ask for it and see if you can go back and see how it relates to and goes forward from the first Dragons Love Tacos book. I've got a really quick story. It says, Mouse went out to get a snack. Help me find tacos in this book, since we're having tacos today. Mouse went out to get a snack by Lynn Rossiter McFarland. You think a little mouse would like a piece of a taco? Well, let's see. So you'll, have, you'll, you'll see a regular taco in this store. We met, we're going to make walking tacos in a bag. Anyway, little mouse has come out of his little hiding hole down here, his little hole in the wall. He is sniffing. Mouse went out to get a snack. Something like a piece of cheese. Now we know my mice love cheese, so that sounds good to me. Down the hall, around the bend, stop to look left and right, keep an eye out for who? And I see the cat. Cat sleeping with one eye open, you see? Tiptoe up the table leg. So little mouse has come along. Tiptoe up the table leg. Wow! Oh, look at that. There's a feast up there on that table. Somebody's having a party, I guess, later. We'll, we'll find out what's up there. Let's, let's take it page by page. Yum! Flex those muscles. Oh, strong mousy. You've got to be able to carry some of this stuff back. Crack those knuckles. First, the big plate over the side. Then, oh, he's tossed the plate over the side. What's he going to do? One piece of cheese. That sounded good for a little mouse, we thought. Two plump plums. Three baby carrots four fried chicken legs, five ears of corn. He is tossing them over onto that big plate. Oh, you found a taco yet? Do you see one? Six tasty tacos. Six, can you help me count? I hold up my fingers, but I'm holding the book. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're talking about tacos today. There are six tasty tacos, seven assorted jelly beans, eight colorful cupcakes, nine jolly gingerbread men, and ten slices of good old chocolate cake. Can this mouse eat all of that? I think he's just stick with the cheese, don't you? Phew! Oh, he's just worn out, sweating. Tiptoe down the table leg. Flex those muscles. Get ready to go. You gotta tote that back to his house. C crack those knuckles. Pick up the plate. Can that mouse hold that plate? All of that good stuff on that plate. For a little mouse to lift up. Pick up the play, little mouse, strong mouse. Uh-oh, he is holding that plate, and I think he's looking down below, and what do you see? I see two furry feet, don't you? Uh-oh, time to go. Through the kitchen, look at him racing there with that big plate of food. Around the bend, down the hall, I see the shadow of Kitty Cat looking at him. To his hole, <gasps> too small. He's thinking. Up flew. So it's too small. I probably hit the wall there. Up flew the what? <gasps> Up through that plate. So we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We're down to 7 on that page. 7. <gasps> There's those 6 tacos. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Uh oh. Everything's plate went up in the air. The food went up in the air. Down to one piece of cheese. One cheese flopped down. Right there at his door of his little cubby hole. 
one piece of cheese, and we have a flat cat. So everything else toppled down, plate and all, on top of kitty cat. So little mouse has his piece of cheese, which you should have started with. Happy mouse. Happy mouse. So that's called Mouse Went Out to Get a Snack. And we saw those six tasty tacos. But you settled for cheese, and that's one of our ingredients. But let's go back to our recipe. Walk around tacos was the main hit of this little book that they wrote together for. So walk around tacos. You can really put any amount of ingredients in your walking tacos. I'm going to try to read to you what it says, but just take it from me. Use whatever you've got and how much you want. I think it'll be just fine. So we're going to, we have to open up a can of chili, which I did. Chili with no beans. So we have a can of chili. I heated it up in the microwave, which is what it told us to do. We're going to open up a bag of chips. It, it means for us to use those little snack size. You have to get the big box. It has a variety of Doritos or Fritos or maybe, I don't think Kroger has the small size, but I got this, this size here, Kroger, and I cut it in half. So save the other half for later. I said use whatever you want. If you want to make all this in a bowl, that's fine, but we're going to pretend we're going to walk around with it. So it says walk around tacos. Open up a bag of chips. So I've got that open. And we need different other items. We've got salsa. It says a half a cup. A third of a cup of sour cream, one cup of shredded lettuce, and a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. So we're going to make half of the recipe. So half of this can is right here, and half of this bag. So we're going to try to follow the directions. Half a cup of salsa. We're going to put all of that in there, and then you're ready to stir it up a little bit and enjoy it. It says, well, it says shake and serve immediately. So it says four servings, so you and family members or friends we're ready to eat in 20 minutes. So we're going to try to put this together. So a fourth of a cup of salsa and less on that. I'm trying to think of what we need. But we're going to just put it all together. Okay, let's go about what it says. Salsa, we're going to have to put our topping, our chili on first. Okay. So whatever you want to do, whatever size you need. I'm going to put this, I heated this up. So we're going to put this right in here. This will be a two-person serving. So I'll have to share this with somebody else after a while. You might could use chili with beans, but I chose no beans. Okay, so we got that. That's done. Half a cup of salsa. We'll, we'll take a fourth of a cup. So it's nice and easy. I can just set the bag down while we work. So a half, half of that half a cup, as I showed you before. This is a half a cup, so this should be half of it, which makes it a fourth. Put that in there. A third cup of sour cream. I didn't bring the third with me because I didn't, don't want to use a third. I'm just going to, as I told you, sort of guess at it. Let's see, a third. This is a half. So half is less than a third. And that's probably going to be good. Like I told you, you can use whatever you want. So I'm just sort of guessing. If you like a lot of sour cream, just throw it in there. If you want more salsa? That's great. Sour cream. One cup of shredded lettuce. Let's just go with a half. Here's a whole cup. Here's a half. So I'm cutting it in half. So I'm keep, keep, keep it clean. Not cut it. Isn't that nice to work with? Alright, half a cup of shredded lettuce. And it says a half a cup of shredded cheese. We're going to use a fourth. Let's go back and grab a fourth up on the counter. Try to keep your hands off of everything to be, be, happy, be, be healthy and clean. Alright, go for the cup. Instead of the hat. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more because I like cheese. I'm going to throw a little bit more in there. Alright, what did you tell us to do? It says shake and serve immediately. So if you shake it up a little bit, get it. So we got warm chili. The other stuff is nice and cold, but it doesn't bring together. It says shake up. Now I'm still seeing cheese and food. Ready, ready. All right, so we have shaken up our good old walk around taco and it's ready to eat. So I'm going to have to eat that after a while before it gets too soft. We just made walk around tacos or walking tacos. So I hope you can try this at home sometime. Use pretty much these same ingredients and whatever amount you want to use I think will be great. So just take my word for it. Enjoy it with your friends and families. So this we made half of the big serving. So please check these books out. Just call our branches and ask for the Walk Around Tacos book or Dragon, right, Dragons Love Tacos. So we will try another kids cooking later on. Thanks for joining me today.